Hello and welcome to this update to Blip Paint. In this version you'll see I've added a lot of buttons to do with the grids and it automatically set up a brush that suits each grid. I've got isometric and composite grid. It's also going to set up the slicer for you for animation. And this is a little preview window. You can do 8 slice and it will divide into these sections. You can also change the play mode here. And it's also 16 slice animation if you want that. Okay, there's a magic mode called Commodore 64 mode, which actually kicks in some music and you get this grid layout. It takes you to the Commodore brushes and there's a shader actually in place that helps the pixels stay in place. And on the left you have a Commodore palette. If you want to turn off the grid, press G. If you want to completely hide it, hold down Alt or Control or Shift and it will disappear. Uh, there's also music in the background. If you want to change that, just type in the magic code again. I'm going to tell you what that is, that's kind of the secret. There's a lot of brushes here that you can use. You can also use Flippy to change the brushes up a bit. Okay, so there's a new effect called Parallax. And depending on which layer you draw on, there's less parallax on the lower layers and more parallax on the upper layers. So for example, if I draw kind of like a tree trunk or something here, Let's just draw in a little bit of thing like this. Not the best tree in the world, but it's just to show you. I'll go a layer below it and I'll draw some shrubs. Do a little bit of shading on that. And uh, let's choose a colour for the background. If I right click this, it's going to fill this back layer. Let's just do some kind of rock behind these. Okay, I'm going to draw some grass in the ground. You can increase the brush size by using the right bracket. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of cloud. You can use this checker for a kind of checker effect. Just undo it a bit. And let's fix up the tree a little bit more. Now if you press the parallax key, you can now see that everything moves in a parallax way. Okay, this mode also works out of Commodore mode. So I can come out of that and go back to normal brushes. And pick a few tones and start painting as normal. You can see the pixel shade is still on, so if I press the top left key, 
comes off and we've still got our little Commodore pixels here we can put Commodore 64 mode back on and it does its best to try and pixelate everything to look like that but you can see it's got extra colours you get this kind of hybrid mode I guess you can switch the palettes but not in this mode so you can come back out of it and you can switch the palettes back and change the brightness and stuff the code again get back in you see the brightness and things don't work on this palette because it's a very fixed palette you can still lock pixels kind of handy and as you begin to run out of memory it will bake everything down so let me just make it do that, just so you can see what's going to happen. So I'm just going to choose this white here. Turn off lock pixels. And as I get close to the limit, this will go red. Eventually, everything will be committed down to the bottom layer. And you'll be left with whatever you're last working on. And the undoes only go that far. I'm going to turn off the parallax mode. And now you can't paint behind things. But what you can do is you can use the grabber. And grab a section. Move to a layer where you want it. And make sure you paint with this one and in white. And turn off flippy X. Undo that, move it in place and stamp it down. Now it might not look like the same tones, that's the only problem. That is a bug that I'm fixing. But anyway, hope you enjoy this little feature and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!